Hi, I'm Tony Papa from Pro Media Gear. Here to show you how to put on the VS MDC1 motor and controller onto the Pro Media Gear Duo sliders with three wheel carriage. It's really easy. In your box, when you get the motor controller separate, you're going to get a motor, the detachable mini XLR cable, the controller itself, one bolt that's going to lock this whole thing together, and an Allen key. Let me show you how easy it is to do. First, you're going to go ahead and take the motor with the wheel facing down. It's got two guide pins. The guide pins go into the side of your three wheel carriage onto the front two pins. It just goes in like that. Next, you're going to go ahead and take the screw and just go ahead and put it in there and tighten it down. That's it. You got this on there. You go ahead and put your ball head of choice onto the carriage. In my case, I got the BH1 from Pro Media Gear. And now I'm just going to go ahead, make sure my brake is loose, loosen the third wheel, line it up against the track, and go ahead and tighten it down just like you would before. Take out any wiggle. As you can see here, to so go ahead and engage the motor, there's a trigger device. You're going to want to pull back on the motor toward yourself a little bit, and then pull out the trigger guard and it's going to allow a spring to release the wheel which is built into the motor to touch against this track. That's ultimately what's going to be moving it back and forth. So go ahead and I'll show you how to disengage it. You just go ahead and pull it back. It's going to lock into that pin there and allow you to do manual moves. To go ahead and set that motor back down, pull toward you lightly, pull out, and it's going to allow that to engage. To go ahead and get that motor attached to the controller, we supply you with a mini XLR cable. You're going to go ahead, plug the XLR cable into the motor, and it locks into place. Next, you're going to go ahead and lock into the top of the controller. And it's also very easy to go ahead and flip this whole unit over. What you're going to want to do is just disconnect the XLR cable from the motor unit itself by pushing in the little button, disconnect it. going to go ahead disengage the motor, loosen the carriage, it all comes off in one unit, flip this unit over, go ahead and reset your feet, Now you're just going to go ahead and repeat the process with those two front wheels on first. Tighten the rear wheel until it's sloppy. Keep going until it engages. Now that I know I'm on comfortably, I can go ahead and engage my motor. I'll take the cable, go ahead and put that right back on, and I'm back in business. It's that fast, it's that easy. This controller is a great addition to the PMG Duo slider. It's going to come with the three ports on top for the mini XLR, intervalometer opportunities, as well as an optional AC port. The whole unit is powered up by three AA batteries. They're going to last you from four hours to ten hours on continuous use, and that's going to vary between your project and what speed your motor is on. It's nice and compact and goes in your bag with ease. So now, once I get it in, you're going to go ahead and just turn that unit on and Go ahead and get yourself some rocking moves. And I'm going to show you the three modes that it has involved. Right now I'm on the intervalometer mode, my time lapse mode. When I take the mode control and I turn it counterclockwise all the way to the left, it says intervalometer. You're going to take your cable and plug it into your camera so that it can control your shutter. Now on the intervals, you have the option to set with this left knob here, everything down from one second all the way to 300 seconds of wait time before it makes a move. On this side, you're going to make a jump. And you can either jump to the right or to the left, whichever way you dial. And it goes from 1 one-hundredth of an inch, 0.2 millimeters, all the way to 999 millimeters, all within one jump. So you just do a little bit of math, and you're going to be able to figure out how long your slider is, how long you want your time lapse to take place, and uh, just set that accordingly. It's pretty intuitive. 
it's only two knobs. You're just going to go ahead and, like I said, set your seconds over here. And then how far it's going to go. So make it go back the other way. Every two seconds, I'm moving 30 millimeters. As you can see, it's counting to two. It would take a flat uh, shutter on my camera and go ahead and move. What you're going to want to remember is how long is my shutter open based on my time. You always want to make sure that your shutter is going to be able to take that photo before it moves or you're going to have some blurry photos. The next function here is you steer up clockwise. It's going to go into loop mode. When you're in loop mode with the left knob here, you're going to be able to dial in a set speed from 0 to 100 and then be able to move that um, carriage with your camera on top of it back and forth an infinite number of times. When it hits anything, it's a resistance motor and it's going to allow that to bounce back. So you can do it for interviews, set it nice and slow, let it go back and forth, and just add a little bit of dynamic sizzle to your video. Or accessories such as our end stops, you can mount them into the quarter 20s so that when the carriage bumps it, it's going to only go so far. Otherwise, on loop mode, it's just going to go down to the end, it's going to hit the wall, and it's going to come back. Let me show you the speed capabilities of it. So as you can see, I can make it go on for a long period of time, keep it at setting one. It's just going to creep down the track, which is great just to add that little dynamic movement. Now the third and final mode built into the controller here is video mode. So you're just going to go ahead, turn that left mode button all the way down clockwise till it goes down into video mode. Now video mode, you're in control. You're just dialing away left and right. It'll go any way you want it to go. This is great for somebody that can sit there and be dedicated to this unit and do various moves where you're going from slow to fast, ease in, ease outs. You're just able to dial that in with ease just from the controller. Slow it down. Maybe you've got stop in your video for a second. You're doing some dialogue and then dramatic pause and then it just goes ahead, keeps moving again. You want to go the other direction. You just go ahead and turn the knob the other direction. That's going to make the unit come back. Those are the three modes built into the controller. And what's great is once you add the motor, you can leave it on, go back into manual mode, reset the track wherever you want to start your move, and then lock that motor back down. You can easily still, with the motor attached to the carriage, flip the track over at any time, and go ahead and motorize the slider on the opposite side of the duo track without having to cumbersomely take off other gear, gadgets, and uh, stuff like that and just get shooting at a much faster pace. For more information, visit ProMediaGear.com today.